Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this discussion, I am going to solve the problem where we have to show that for any prime p, root p is irrational. Our method of proof will be very simple. First, we will assume that root p is a rational number and then we will come to a contradiction. So, let us start solving the problem. So, assume, assume that root p is rational. Now, from the very definition of rational number, we can say that root p can be written in the form n by n, where n is non-zero and both m and n are from the set of integers. Also, GCD of m and n will be equals to 1. That is to say, m and n have no other common factor except 1. Now, if we square this relation, we will get p is equals to m square by n square. Now, from here, we can write m square is equals to p into n square. So, what we have obtained that m square is equals to p times n square. Therefore, clearly, we can say that p is a factor of m square. In other words, p divides m square. Now since p is prime and p divides m square, we can say that p divides m. This is an important property for any prime p which is as follows. If p divides square of any, any integer, then p will divide the integer itself. If you don't know the proof, follow the link in the description. I have provided the link for the proof of this particular property for any prime p. Now, coming back to the solution of the problem, if p divides m, it means that m can be written in the form p into k, where k is any integer different from 0. Now, if we substitute the value of m in this equation, this will become p square k square is equals to p times n square now, if we cancel out p on both the side, what we will get? We will get p k square is equals to n square. Now, from here again see that n square is p into square of an integer. It means that p is a factor of n square. In other words, we can say that p divides n square. Now again since p is prime and p divides n square by the discussion that I have already made, it follows that p divides n. So n can be written as p into k dash where k dash is any integer different from 0. Therefore what we have shown is that n is equals to p times k and n is equals to p times k dash where both k and k dash are integers. Therefore, from these two equations, it follows that p is a factor of m as well as n. But we have assumed that GCD of m n is 1. It follows from the definition of rational number itself. Therefore, a contradiction has been arrived since m is equals to pk and n is equals to pk dash. So, from here we are saying that p is a factor of both m and n. But this contradicts this given statement. Therefore, root p cannot be assumed to be rational and therefore root p is an irrational number. 